Sons and daughters of God, you are welcome to this platform. Good morning, so high and wind today. Much have not been heard about the woman of God, Prophetess Angela of Scorn. Since the glorious departure of the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Scorn. Although through a confirmed source, she agreed, affirmed to the allegations that she is back to work. Not in any church, but a secular work. Ever since the woman of God, Prophetess Angela, was spotted publicly at Prophet Racine's wedding. Not much has been heard from her. But all joy, it is a good news that the three powerful prophetess, Prophetess Anne, Prophetess Yinka, and Prophetess Angela are together in the U.S. presently. Last time I said it, I spoke to Sister Angela, the white lady, and I called her, I spoke to her, I said, Sister Angela, I'm still saying this on air, but I want this to push her, to drive her, the white prophetess that we have not seen for a while. I told her, I said, Sister Angela, this is what the Lord showed me. The Lord showed me that you're, you're, you're about to take a wrong step. And then, uh, you are meant to be doing, I mean, continuing the work. Don't take the wrong step. And then she confirmed to me that indeed she has gone back to work. And I said, no, you have to go back to what God has called you to do. Mr. Angela, I want to encourage you anywhere you are. Please, God has called you to the ministry. I know our father, particular pastor, so normally it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's not easy. Even when Jesus died, the disciples separated, right? But the scripture says, Jesus told Peter, he said, Peter, he said, I know that you will fall away when I die. But he said, by the time, I will help you get back on your feet. By the time you get back on your feet, please, call your words, your brethren, gather them back. Remember, Peter went back to fishing after Jesus died. But later, Peter got back himself. And he began to gather the other disciples. So that is what I am doing. Hallelujah. Daniel I told me, he said, I don't know what to do again. I don't know what to do because my ambition in life was to follow the creativity. I've put it in life that this is what I want to do. I want to serve God following this great man of God. But now he has passed off. What do I do? And I said, please go back to the work. So please leave that work you are doing. Okay? Please. I understand there are some pastors, they are called into part-time ministries. Some are called into what? Full-time. So you, Angela, you are called into what? Full-time. So now that you have gone back to um, secular work, it won't work you. So please, try to see how you can spend the quiet time, go and hear from God, and begin your work, your ministry. So thank you, thank you, people of God. So I know at the right time, the Lord will usher this ministry, will usher me to the world to see, and the world will know the truth. And the scripture says, when you know the truth, the truth shall what? Shall set you free. Thank you. Thank you. There is a gigantic downpour of a prophetic glorious release of the power of God. Truly, all power belongs to God. But the Bible says God has given us authority to tread upon scorpions and others and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful. 
for all your efforts.